time to feed as Jungle Evelyn, yeah! This is Shiner CCC, and I'm playing with Mr. X, who's uh, notorious amongst the group I play with for only playing AP, and only maining three champions, Anivia, Lux, and Morgana. Um, I was just dancing on the fountain there because Karma was going to give me the Eye of Sauron, so I didn't want her to see my build, but then I got impatient and bought it anyway. Then I got caught by the Eye of Sauron. So big surprise, I'm a jungler with cloth armor and five health potions. Uh, let me just quickly Spring. test speeding this up to make sure it doesn't crash. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let me talk about this game a little bit. This was recorded about three weeks ago, so yeah, it's season two, all the stuff we're used to. Um, who else is on this team? Everyone else we don't know. Uh, we got Warwick top, uh, Malphite and Akali laning together. It looks like Malphite's going for support with the early Philostone. Uh, the enemy jungler is Shaco, as you'll see here. Uh, he's got Smite and Flash. I've got Smite and Ignite, because Evelyn likes bursting down targets and assassinating them. Although it's pretty hard to do, actually, because Evelyn has such crap-based stats. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, Akali is asking me about my jungle route, and it's supposed to be pretty standard, except uh, you'll see that I start late because I'm talking to Mr. X on voice chat and I'm distracting myself. Um, so I'm gonna go Wolves, then Blue Golem, Wraiths, back to Wolves, Kill Lizard, back to Wraiths, Kill Golems if I have enough health and time. Uh, I don't gank until level 4, which is kind of bad, uh, well, on any jungler I guess, but I like to play it safe. Because if you gank and get nothing done, then you just waste time and you fall behind. Okay, so um, finally get to the wolves 10 seconds too late, and I just start spamming Q as hard as possible. Normally you shouldn't do that because you can run out of mana really easily, but uh, I fell behind, so I need to get over to the blue golem where Akali will leash it for me. So watch here. I, my masteries are 21.90. I have bladed armor, and uh, well, I changed my jungle level and masteries lately to. Uh, I take both the 10% armor penetration and 10% magic penetration because Evelyn is basically a hybrid. Because even if you go AD, you still try to nuke as hard as you can with Ravage and a Sheen Hands and hope you crit them, you know. So if I hadn't fallen behind so bad there, I would have enough mana to Ravage the Mini Lizard, then walk over to Wraiths and have full mana. So let's check the enemy lanes. Okay, so Annie stuns Lux, we got Wukong top. He's got a Doran's Blade first, nothing unusual. It's Karma and Volibear bot. This game's interesting because... Oh wait, I walked into a box nest. And I died because I don't have Flash. So, yeah. That happened to me once before when Zen Zhao was free. Feels bad, man, so... Now, my mistake last time is I just kept dying like that as Zin Zhao. He just kept boxing up the same bush, and I kept, you know, getting mad and trying to kill Shaco, which is dumb. You can't beat that one second fear, man. So, you know, utterly afraid, and without a blue buff, I buy some mana potions to try and recover. I guess uh, taking 10 more seconds on the wolves was a blessing in disguise, because that was 10 more seconds Shaco had to sit there doing nothing. Still not good to give first blood to an enemy jungler if you're a jungler. That's like, that, that's such a bad deal because if you're behind, then you can't gank and he'll be fed and ganking and yeah. So we'll see what happens. So <laughs> this is a full game Evelyn commentary. We're supposed to show you like a normal jungle route and what happens. And here I start by dying to Shaco right away. Shiner, you idiot! Why are you uploading this? Well, you'll see. Uh, now. That was kind of bad positioning. I should try to stay in the bush so I'm not exposed. I was still pretty afraid of Shaco staying in that wraith bush. But, I, you know, I'm still scared of him, so I don't dare go to wraiths. So I drink my potions and go to the stoner bros. Even though I drink my mana potion, I'm just constantly out of mana. And I don't have smite. See, that was kind of a mistake. I should have just turned on the other one and let bladed armor and red buff and hate spike finish off that guy. Uh, oh yeah, rune page is a standard jungler fare. Uh, eight armor pen marks. No. Wait, what is it again? I think it's, uh, yeah, eight attack speed marks and one armor pen mark. Three armor pen quints. Armor yellow. Uh, magic resist per level blues. I guess for Evelyn you could do cooldowns, but you can run out of mana really fast if you're spamming your skills on Evelyn, so I wouldn't recommend that. I guess attack speed would be better for faster clears, but that wouldn't help you for ganking at all. 
I guess of all things you could actually use AP per level and go more hybrid. So, uh... <laughs> I want to go kill Wraiths, but I realize my pathing would go through that bush of death again. So, you know, I'm still scared of it. I guess I could buy a ward and throw it in there. Or, uh, wait. No, we don't have clairvoyance on our team, so I can't scan it. Yeah, it sucks that, uh... The one biggest problem with Jungle Evelyn is that one of your spells is Smite, and, you know, Evelyn's spell combo is always Ignite and Flash, because it allows you to tower dive really well. Oh, by the way, I bought a longsword because I want to get Madreds really soon. I don't want to try to gank early now that I'm behind. Well, okay, ganking can be a way to recover, but, you know, it's kind of hard to gank on Evelyn because her base stats are such trash, right? You know, you can't w 1v1 anybody if you're Evelyn unless you're really, really fed. You have to prey on lanes that are weak or, you know, just ready to burst someone down. So here, I just hit level 4, so that means I have stealth. So I skill my stealth, just go in there invisible. Even though Annie has stun, I predict we'll be able to burst her down and she'll just panic. Luckily, she doesn't go with incinerate to stun us both. And she wastes ignite on Lux, who was nowhere near death, so that's a pretty good deal. So I'm on voice chat and I tell Mr. X, you can go back if you want, dude. You know, I'll hold the lane, I don't need mana. So I just try and farm minions, but I kind of screwed up a bit. And I expect red buff to finish them off, and hate spike misses, and all this crap. Uh, okay, I at least get the cannon minion, so it's all good. So what do I skill next? I skill Ravage, that's right. I've broken the cardinal rule of every Evelyn guide, and, you know, you're supposed to get Shadow Walk to level 2 as soon as possible. So Shaco comes to hold the lane. He's got... he hasn't gone back yet, I guess. He's just still sitting there with my blue buff. He hasn't bought anything. Well, I've got my X-Man claws. And enough mana, or enough money to get a mana potion. Because again, I don't have blue and I want to have some extra mana so I can get not even an entire Ravage. Why didn't they buff mana potions? They nerf health potions, watered them down to be 150. But health, mana potions are still 100 mana, just over a shorter span of time. I don't know, I guess that's good for jungling, but still pointless for laning. And I walk into another box bush, but luckily there's only one. Uh, I don't know what happened there. My pathing screwed up or something. And I take a lot more damage. So I ping the map and say, hey, Lux, this guy's invading me. Get him out of here. So boxes... Uh, yeah, I tell him to shoot his E in there so it gives sight of the bush. And my stealth runs out. And he runs off, so... I'm kind of scared, so I just smite the blue wraith. And I'm ready to just like turn around and run if Shaco arrives. Um, <laughs> should be looking for him, which is what I'm going to do. I figure, why would he leave? He, he wants to invade, so... Oh, I hit another box. So I just go stealth, and... So that's a cool trick. And I hit stealth right as I finish off the box. So luckily Shaco can't get me. He probably deceived in from somewhere. So I ping the map again and say, Hey, idiot laners, this guy's invading. He shouldn't be here. He's out of position. So I give Warwick blue buff. Awesome. So it's kind of like our starting blue buff got transferred to Warwick, so which is cool. He's got a Doran's ring, so he's doing the you know the Lanewick maxing hungering strike thing. So now he's just gonna raffle stomp Wukong all day. Okay, so with the first stage of the game over. Let's uh, speed this up a bit while centering the camera on me. Uh, I notice our blue is finally back, and I have Smite, so I decide to give it to Lux. And I get my ulti as well. No big deal. Kill the wolves, the, the dog, the uncoolest dogs ever. So I know most people assume Evelyn is a bad jungler because she can get counter jungled easily. She needs experience because levels increase her ganking power. So I have a choice of getting Riggle's Lantern or Boots of Mobility, and I figure I want more sustain and some ability to... Oops, missed that. So Warwick came down for a gank. Shaco starts chasing me. I drop a spike on his head, and I finally go into stealth after damage wears off. So Kali shows up. Now Shaco flashes away, which is good. Taking summer is always good. So Akali goes in, Shaco gone. Big fight starts. So I burst down Karma to nerf her healing. Um, my Ignite's on cooldown. Uh, wow, Akali barely gets away. Very nice. Lux gives us a laser to help with the fight. 
And Shaco gets snared. And Ignite comes off cooldown. Oh, I don't even use it. Play like a Dominion player. So with everybody dead, especially the jungler, I proclaim it's time to do Dragon. Uh, Malphite tanks it for some reason. Probably because he's... I've got more armor than him, and I got a Riggles, so... Yeah, I mentioned I should tank it to Malphite there. So... Mr. X is helping us, and we're just killing Dragon really hard. I've got my smite ready. So this Shaco is counter-jungling himself, which is really funny. So, as I was saying, uh... No, oh, Annie's gonna come try to mess us up and tell Mr. X to get out of there. I don't have any mana, so I can't even slow Annie. Well, I could with red buff, but... You know, I want, like, I don't know, a really big awesome slow. Yeah, anyway. So Evelyn gets counter jungle easily, because if you lose creeps, you lose experience, and if you're not getting levels, then your ganks suck. Because your stats suck. You need you need to level Ravage to just blow people up and lower their resistances so your lane mates can get kills. See I guess there's a there might be a bit of a debate as to whether Evelyn can carry or not. Uh, I personally think Evelyn should not steal kills. You should try to pass off the kill to your lane mate if possible. In my experience, it's pretty hard to carry with Evelyn because you go into stealth and kill one person and run away with your ultimate. And you can only do that every 10 seconds or so. So I kind of want to open up on Annie, but I have no mana. And I'm level 8. Mr. X gets a nice laser. Um, you know, I'm level 8, so I finally have level 2 Shadow Walk. I max Ravage as fast as possible on Evelyn because, you know, you're, you're increasing your damage. And that's like base damage. That's a linear amount. It doesn't scale into late game unless you get AP, so I want to do the biggest nuke possible early on. So Shaco finds me and I, you know, hit my stealth before he can chase me down with some shivs. So I ping. You know, I'm pinging like crazy. Warwick says he's coming. Shaco does a poof, sends out his clone. Uh, Mr. X doesn't know how Shaco works and starts attacking the clone. And I say, dude, dude, no, no, I'm pinging the real one with the buffs. You know, the buffs is the real one. And Annie combos me, unfortunately. I don't get over to some jungle creeps in time to lifesteal them, but, you know, Warwick goes axe crazy and just kills Annie. Gets revenge for me. Unfortunately, I didn't even touch her, so I don't get an assist. Oh well. So Shaco's trying to counter jungle me because he can kill me 1v1. He's, you know, he's Shaco. He does good physical damage. He's kind of like, well, not like Master Yi, but, you know, nice. Just nice damage, nice upfront burst damage, and with Deceive and Shiv, he can chase you really easily. So now he's holding the lane. He's got a, a dagger while I've got a sheen, so it appears that I'm ahead. And he gets hit by a laser, too. Very nice shot, Mr. X. Bot lane gets into a big, dirty fight. I never really saw this before. Oh, both of them low. But Akali's got no essence of shadow charges, so she can't snowball and get all the kills. I don't know who put that ward there, but I haven't used my Riggles ward yet. So with my stealth timer halfway down, I say, hey, let's harass Annie. So I'm trying to like line up a shot, but she's kind of hugging the tower. Uh, we missed the easy snare. Uh, no, we decided to go for it anyway, because she has Ignite on. Uh, I don't know why I ran up to her when Ignite was going to kill her, but I'm... <laughs> Get down to 43 health, not even close, baby. Shaco ganks bot, unfortunately. Uh, Wukong has Berserker Greaves and a Zeal. Oh, or a Dagger. Okay, I guess he's going for the Zeal part of Triforce first, whatever. So I'm too low health to farm the lane, especially with Shaco prowling around, so... Uh, I go back to the my warm safe jungle and life steal off minions. Uh, I guess I use Smite on a minion, or maybe it's a lol replay bug. No, wait, I didn't speed up anything. Okay, let's focus on me again. Um, so yeah, Shaco could come in and duel me, because I'm Evelyn. But just by a sort of, you know, playing defensively, I just go stealth and follow him around so my lane mates can come kill him and get easy kills off him, provided we can catch him after he deceives. I guess he's just a bad Shaco. So I go to my blue to try to give it to Lux, but I didn't see that Shaco had it, so Shaco stole it. Um, some fighting going on at bot that I probably should have attended. Uh, nothing much happening here. Oh, I got my boots and mobility, that's good. Okay, so Warwick asked for a gank because I haven't ganked top. Okay, so here's how this happens. Uh, I mentioned I'll Ravage Wukong first to lower his resist so Warwick can go in for the kill. I use my Ignite. Uh, Warwick has Exhaust. I 
don't think he used it. So we see Shaco coming in with the ward, so I go stealth to try and, you know, lay a trap on him. Okay, he deceives in. So then I open up with him. <laughs> Warwick and I just nuke him with our E and Q. And then Shaco flashes away out of fear, not realizing that we've used our best nukes and they're on cooldown now. You know, I really want to get in there and dive him, but Warwick has no ult. Warwick gets 25 gold. Oh, Volibear lives with 100 health. 114 health. Uh, I want to dive Shaco, but he's too slippery with that Deceive, and he's boxing up the tower, so I just say, screw this, I'll go farm the jungle, or better yet, I'll counter jungle Shaco, get some revenge for earlier. Warwick says he's got 10 seconds to ult, so I decide to come back and hope that Shaco shows his face, but he's not going to. And our, our creeps aren't even at the tower, so we definitely can't dive him. Uh, my stealth wears off, but look who I find. Shaco's just sitting there in the corner, and I don't know why he doesn't deceive away right here. I guess he hoped that his box would kill him, or kill me. Um, I didn't even have smite to steal it, so <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, I probably should have left a ward there and uh, mentioned the timer for the blues. Back around uh, six minutes? No, it's five minutes for buff. So we'll come back at like 23 minutes. So we could steal it again. So our creeps are finally attacking the tower. So I just go in there and uh, unstealth. Pressing W to deactivate stealth gives you sheen hands, by the way. So I walk next to his box so I can get sheen hands by using hate spike on it. Use my ult to attack the tower faster. Screw Riot for nerfing it. So Volibear shows up to defend the place. And Warwick goes in for the chase. Wukong goes axe crazy on me. And he flash ignites me. I barely die. But I get the assist for... Volibear, and I, you know, as salty as I am, I want Warwick to finish off his lane mate, or lane opponent. For some reason, Wukong slugs it out and thinks he can win against the Warwick with those trash items. Oh, it's because Shaco's there. You know, Warwick might be fed, but he only has a frozen heart. He doesn't have any real damage. And Shaco suddenly has a BF sword, while well, I just have Sheen and Phage, which is pretty, I don't know, kind of kind of middle of the road sort of items, not like the upfront destructivity of a VF sword. And again, a VF sword usually is not a great item for Evelyn, honestly. It's better to sort of do the Trinity Force tanky DPS deal. Okay, so Warwick says, I'm gonna need help if they push. So I smite rates to get some money. Um, oh, okay, I got some good kills coming up here. Ooh! Some minions spot Shaco in the jungle, so I go stealth and scout him out. Sure enough, I find him taking the golems. Uh, I don't know why he's prancing around. I guess he's making a box trap. So I see him lay that box. So Callie and I go right in on him, but he just instantly deceives. He, you know, we don't have CC. So then Shaco and his clone pop out. Obviously the one running away is the real the real one. So I press R and get the speed boost because Lux finishes the job with the laser. And I want 25 gold, so I kill his clone too. Uh, Annie thinks to get in there to help, but you know runs away pretty quick, leaving Malphite the whole bot against Karma and Volibear, two very dangerous pushers. Okay, not really. Uh, I really should have more wards up. You may have noticed I haven't used my Riggles ward or the Sight ward I bought, like, anywhere. I'm just forgetting to use them, I guess. Cause they would come in very handy. We could have seen Shaco invade even sooner back there. You know, keep watching our buffs, keep watch over Dragon. Well, I went to gank top, and that means I'm on the other side of the map. Shaco could have easily grabbed Dragon. So now I finally ward Dragon, but bot trying to do it. They're slowing me really hard, and now I'm spirit bonded, and boom! Malphite saves me. And I ignite Volibear so his passive can't save him. And I wait for my invisibility to turn on. Uh, it's not on yet, what am I doing? Drop a spike on his head, come on, I'm not invisible yet. Why am I not invisible yet? Uh, anyway. She's got a big fight happening down here. Unfortunately, Lux is not in the area. Uh, I don't know why I'm even hanging around, because if I walk across a stray spirit bond, I'm dead. Also, Shaco has Oracle, so I'm definitely dead. Not going anywhere near Dragon. He kills my ward on it, and I figure they're doing it. But since I'm not about to smite steal Dragon, I just decide to secure blue before they steal it. This is probably one of the dumber things that happens in the <laughs> video. Um, well, there's Karma. 
I should be in the bush here, but I couldn't really pull him back. This is the power of Wiggle's Lantern. And I didn't even smite the golem, what the hell? Okay, speed this up a bit. So I'm crying about Shaco having Oracle. Uh, while everyone's like, Oh, Evelyn's so useless, if someone has Oracle, Evelyn can do literally nothing. No, 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 you guys have it all wrong. Oracle does not make someone invincible. Does not make them immune to damage. You can still kill them. If they're low on health, you can run up to them and ravage them, and they're still slow just the same. Okay, here comes a, a good kill. Good kill. Uh, Annie's lurking around here. I don't, I don't know where she went. So I throw the ward in there, because I'm afraid of Shaco being in there, and I don't want to walk into Oracle. And I kill Annie right before a Tibber's Tick would kill Lux, getting down to 36 HP. No big deal. Annie cries in all chat. Shaco's pushing bottom, so I decide to counter push mid. Um, I figure I should press R, because it'll be a while before... No, wait, the tower's almost dead. I'm not going to bother to press R. 80 seconds is actually... Well, it's only 69. Well, with blue buff, anyway. But yeah, it's on a pretty short cooldown. Uh, the tooltip is lying a little bit. It doesn't always refresh if a champion dies. I think you have to have been involved in their death in some way. So I checked Dragon to make absolutely sure they did it. Of course they did, so... Then I'll at least reset our map data on it. Should have kept a timer on that, actually, when... Uh, I almost died from that massive slow combo and stuff. So I guess it's warded because bottom lane backs off right away. Uh, Warwick grabs our lizard. He doesn't have any kind of CC yet, so that'll really help him. Uh, I gain a level and get Shadow Walk to level 5 because it makes the slow heavier. You know, previously it made the stun longer, which was really good. So even though Shaco has Oracle, I want to get in there. I want to see if he's in there. But I see my Riggles are just about ready, so I just throw it in there. Um, Shaco leaves. No, wait, he doesn't. They decide to kill the ward. So I'm I'm too nervous to get close because Shaco will just kill me 1v1. And it's even worse if I get close to his team because then I'll get locked down by every ability ever. Yeah, boys, our Warwick is unstoppable. He's 5-0. and oh. Got my lane mate fed, like I said. Even though I'm 6-3-6, and six, I kind of KS'd a lot of stuff. KS stands for kill secured, though, so worth it. So Shaco's gone off the map, and because he has Oracle, he can kill our wards. Well, I guess he hasn't been there, because that ward is still up. Anyway, about that kill I attempted with Lux, it was a bit harebrained, because I don't have a stun anymore. But I figured Annie being low health would just panic and try to run away when I open fire on her. And Mr. X gets ganked, and I'm not there to take revenge. Really don't want to get close to that Oracle, especially with Annie around, even if she doesn't have stun ready. Then look at this guy Malphite. Nothing but a Sunfire Cape and a Philo Stone. I figure I can't do anything, so I'd sure to get the minions off the tower, but Malphite just walks right in. He didn't even like ping the map for me or anything. And he ults! And I go, oh my goodness, this is my chance. I ignite Shaco because I absolutely hate it when people have Oracle. I have to take him down. And we Zerg Rush Annie before we die to Timber's damage. Thank you, base Malphite, as I say in all chat momentarily. Meanwhile, bottom lane, oh, the tower's actually pretty healthy, and they failed to tower dive Akali through good use of Twilight Shroud. Uh, s skip forward in time a bit. Okay, Warwick messes with Wukong. Notice Wukong has a black cleaver and a zeal. He's doing a DPS Wukong. <laughs> I guess this means we're playing against some pretty trashy players, but, you know, this is one of the better Evelyn games I have so far. So... Slow this down a bit. Uh, okay, I kind of missed it. See, they put down a vision ward, and I could see our vision ward, and they were next to it. And I, you know, I hate it when there's like a vision ward war like that. You know, I have to kill their vision ward before they can kill ours, and I desperately go in there and just blow up and die to three enemies. <laughs> and Mr. X was kind of saying like, "Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that?" On voice chat, it was pretty amusing. But well, Warwick gets some uh, blood sent on Annie. Chases her away a bit. I don't know how he gets blood sent on Annie. I think she's a bit young for that. Uh, never mind. Oh, Warwick ults over the wall, and Q! That's a dead Annie. Anyway, I finish Trinity Force. I get an Oracle of my own, which is funny because I can be invisible. And I can basically be a mobile vision ward, which is pretty powerful against Shaco. He didn't get Oracle this time, so I kind of have the advantage. 
Uh, Lux offers some laser assistance to the lane, but it looks like the tower is going to go down. I don't know why Malphite ults in there by himself. If Lux was there with him, maybe they could have done something. So seeing him ult in, I don't want it to go to waste. I'd try to get in there, but there's just too many enemies. There's four enemies down here, so Warwick is smart and capitalizes on this. Just pushes another lane. So here's what you do in your Evelyn, is you you follow a group around and wait for them to split up. You never open up on them while they're all together. You wait for the squishy one to go off alone somewhere and try to recall. So, seeing they're just about out of tower creeps, I'm hoping to try and slow them when they're by the tower. Uh, looks like Jack in the Boxes actually don't have stealth detection, and I keep thinking they do. So I'm still following them around. Still got about like 10 or 20 seconds of stealth left. I see Wukong's almost killed Dragon. Shaco smites it too early, so I use the chance to steal it with my smite. But I can't get away. I should have turned around and ravaged somebody, or just like hate spiked them as I ran. There's no reason not to, because it doesn't slow you down. <laughs> other than running out of mana. Luckily my team shows up and takes, you know, prompt revenge. Smite stole Dragon like a boss. Mr. X flashes out of there, probably... He probably didn't have to, because Annie is no faster than he is. And Malphite gets in there doing Malphite things. Annie flashes away, sadly. So they stay behind to kill Tivers and get the 50 gold. Now Karma has Oracle, but this is not a big deal, because Karma has 1600 health and no resistances whatsoever. Okay, speeding things up. I got a Chain Vest. Um... On Evelyn, some of my favorite tank items to build... Well, actually, all my favorite tank items to build on Evelyn involve Chain Vest. Uh, it's good to build tank... Oh yeah, I didn't drink my Oracle there, by the way, which was nice. So I just start warding up their jungle, and I start following Shaco. Like I said, you just follow squishy champions around. So, you know, Warwick helps me cut him off. Uh, I open up with the Ravage to slow him, so Warwick can catch up and gets the infinite suppress. Uh... Infinite duress, sorry. <laughs> uh, I smite the cannon minion to get that money. Um, I should not have used Ignite there because Warwick's R does more damage than I realize. He's got a wit's end, so that's an extra 200 damage on it. Karma gives a spirit bond to assist in Annie's escape. Uh, we kill a box. Uh, having Oracle does not help with Jack in the Box because you still have to walk up to them and they still fear you and do damage, but I have so I can just spank him and get some lifesteal and basically come up favorably. Anyway, uh, I was talking about tank items. Uh, I like Chain Vest because it pretty much builds into anything good on Evelyn. You can get uh, Zonia's Hourglass if you want more AP, and then if they try to open up on you, you just go Hourglass and your ult will heal you while you're frozen. Uh, I start split pushing because Evelyn's good at that. I have a Wriggles too, which is just amazing. Between Sheen, oh nice shot, Mr. X. Uh, <laughs> between Sheen and Riggle's Lantern, you can push a lane pretty fast. Uh, about as fast as AP Evelyn, actually. AP Evelyn, Lich Bane, push towers over, no big deal. Uh, Malphite shows up to help, and because nothing much is going on, I figured it'll be a while before our next team fight. I press R to kick the tower over faster. Uh, Wukong tries to cycle one in and just kind of dies, gets snared. This is the value of DPS Wukong, everybody. Squishy glass cannon Wukong. People build him like Master Yi or something because he has good mobility. It's not good enough. So I spank this tower a bit, but Shaco shows up and I don't want to lose my Oracle. Uh, actually, I don't know why I'm scared because if he deceives towards us, I'll be able to see him. So I drop a spike on him. He clearly deceives away because I can't see him right now. Now Volibear comes in, and I really can't do anything about Volibear flirt derping someone like he just did to Akali. Uh, Shaco's got a clone, and I'm kind of scared to come in, but then Malphite ults, so I just start hate spiking things like crazy. Uh, I get the kill on Shaco somehow. <laughs> Mr. X giving us laser assistance. Uh, I'm almost out of mana from all the hate spiking and stealthing and stuff that I did. Ravage does cost a lot of mana. So this push is still going on, but I really don't want to try to do more because of any stun and Volibear is scary and has way too much health for me to be able to cope with. Okay. Uh, anyway, back to Chain Vest. Other good stuff is Thorn Mail because people will just kill themselves trying to get through your Thorn Mail and then you heal up and the cycle repeats. You get your virtual... You know, Thorn Mail is not good unless you build lots of health with it, but your ultimate gives you a little bit of virtual health provided you don't blow up all at once. 
Uh, Warwick's got Oracle now too, which is great, because he's pretty tanky. He's got Frozen Heart and Wit's End. Now he's got some health from a Phage. Uh, I head back to our own jungle just to check things out. I don't know why I didn't go straight to the blue. Kill those wolves real fast. Oh, of course, the third good thing to get on Evelyn is Guardian Angel, although that's a bit too straightforward and expensive. Our blue is gone. I guess Shaco stole it, so... I probably should have left a ward there, too. Uh, Warwick is saying we should go to Baron, so I decide to recall and buy. You know, get some of the good stuff. So I head back. Warwick's there, too. He's got Frozen Mallet, which is a great item for Warwick. He's got good chasing. So I finished my Thorn Mail because... Uh, if we bring up the tab screen here, even though Wukong got wrecked in lane, he's still 4-4-4 four, four, and, four and has 211 creeps, which is double the next best on his team, Volibear and Shaco. And because shaco has got lots of kills, and he's all physical, so all the strong people on their team are physical, so I go for Thornmail. You know, there's nothing to be afraid of from the likes of Karma and Annie, who's 3-7. and seven. Finally finished a Rod of Ages and doesn't even have Death Cap yet. Okay, so these guys are saying drop a ward on Baron. And I say, okay, I'll do it. Mr. X also throws his Lucent Singularity in there, so we got lots of sight on it. So we see we catch all five of them at mid, but I can't really go in there. The tower's just gonna go down. It's not providing any help at all. Kali gets thrown out of her shroud. I get stunned by stray timbers, but Mr. X gets a nice. Uh, Nice laser, so I decided to just tunnel vision Annie and finish her off because she's running away, but the rest of her team comes to her aid. It was a bit silly. I, I went in there too early. Luckily, Malphite ult's in there, and the team fight is really initiated. And, you know, the whole enemy team is flashing away. Only Volibear is you know, being a big threat with all his health. You know, Warwick being fed as he is, he's 8 and 1. You know, they, they're all going on him, and they can barely stop him. So that's that's the real Wukong. For some reason he Nimbus strikes back in there. Probably because he knew Warwick would be able to catch him. And the enemy team flees. Again, Karma and Volibear escaping. <laughs> so I just ask if our three survivors are able to do Baron. You know, while three of them are dead. Shaco's gonna be dead for a long time, so they have no smite. Although I'm dead too, unfortunately. So next I get a Catalyst, so again I can have some virtual health, or more actual health rather, for uh, Thornmail. More mana is good too, for more abilities. Uh, so, I can't afford anything else. I think I was, oh I was just typing. Yeah, I was just saying, try not to tunnel vision, learning from my own mistake there. I still tunnel vision way too much though. So, Mr. X gives our team nice shield while they do Baron, triggering uh, illumination flashes. He's actually doing pretty good. He's got a death cap. I don't know what this is though. He's, he's going for an hourglass and a void staff at the same time, but also just getting pure AP. So all of us are alive and we get Baron, no problem. And I decide to push the advantage and check out Shaco's jungle. So I say, hey, Mr. X, get their blue. Lux is mana hungry. But then I see Shaco walk up to it. And uh, while I'm standing still, I accidentally auto attack Shaco, but this still scares him away. So I say, dude, let's just take it really quick. So I smite it and we get out of there. And someone else pings about Dragon, probably me. Uh, I got a lot of attack speed from Trinity Force. Okay, not that much, 1.375. Uh, I got a bunch of wards, so I'm warding the side by Baron. Um, walk past Wukong. Uh, for some reason, someone pings the map in a little bit. I don't know why Shaco's clone is out. Um, Alright, Akali is just soloing Dragon, but she gets CV'd. Uh, I got told to retreat even though I'm invisible. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using a new push to talk key and it's confusing me. Uh-oh, Volibear has Oracle. I get out of there so fast. Or do I? Uh, I really want to help Akali. It, it doesn't help that we have like one and a half stealth-based champions on our team. So I try to finish Wukong. Uh, Mr. X gives me a really nice shield. I get some healing from my ult, but I get flurps. And I'm gonna die. Maybe I got killed by Stray Thunderclaws. Either way, we did a lot of damage in there, and we're gonna win this team fight. Warwick flashes over the wall. Wolf's not gonna let no bear escape. Oh, sorry, Mr. X. I missed your awesome shot. 
I forgot how you killed Shaco there. And then Addy dies to a Sunfire Kick tick. So unfortunately two of our Baron holders die and we forget about Dragon, but Warwick knows what's up. He takes care of what's really important. So I mentioned the useless Wukong and Karma are alive in 10 seconds. Uh, Warwick tries to finish the inhibitor, but he can't quite get it. Wukong cyclones him, gets exhausted by Warwick. Now he's got a Bloodthirster and a Phage, finally. I guess he's still going for Trinity Force, but you're doing it wrong. Stupid Wukong. Stupid monkey! So I finally go back to Dragon, get a Negatron Cloak, because Banshee's Veil is a really good tank item for Evelyn. So, like, you'll pop out a stealth, and you will have a really big nuke fired at you every time. Interestingly enough, Banshee's Veil also counters Evelyn very well, because you can't open up out of stealth. You can't... Well, you have to hate spike them, but you, you can't slow them. It was really bad back when she had the stun, because you just could not stun anybody with a Banshee's Veil unless someone else cracked it first. Uh, nothing much happening, so let's speed this up. Warwick says to group up and push mid. Which is good. So I give blue buff to Akali because I've got plenty of mana from Catalyst, and an Akali with lots of cooldown and energy is going to be really helpful. More so than any energy champ. Other energy champ, I think. Uh, Warwick got an Abyssal Scepter, which is kind of interesting, but... I guess everyone on our team does magic damage, which is helpful. I was going to say at the start of the game, this will be an interesting game, not because I walked into the box nest, but because neither side has a ranged AD carry. Which means, you know, I don't have anybody to give Lizard to. I've already got slow from Triforce, and I decided I'll give it to Warwick, forgetting he actually finished his Frozen Mallet. But I guess he'll make his slow even heavier, so he'll be able to just be full power bruiser mode and just kill anybody he wants. Again, nothing much happening, we're just kind of farming and pushing. Uh, I go back to finish Banshee's Veil, even though my team just surges ahead. Ah, bad camera. Okay. So, uh, Akali gets flurped under the tower, and they can see her. This is really bad use of Twilight Shroud, I guess. Oh, very nice snare by Mr. X. Very nice laser. I didn't even notice Wukong had Oracle here, but, uh, he gets killed by Lizard Buff Dot. <laughs> Which is nice, one more oracle out of the fight. They've wasted a lot of money on oracles, even though I'm not that big of a threat. I'm finally 10, 7, and 10. So Shaco sends his clone out, but I just walk into the bush and find the real one. Sorry, I kind of missed that, but <laughs> that was probably one of the funnier moments in the game. So two of them are dead, all of us are alive. I finally go over to this exposed inhibitor. Uh, I'm using Hate Spike slowly to get Sheen Hands as much as possible. You don't want to just kill these minions with Hate Spike because you waste your mana and then you run out of things to get Sheen from. Uh, Volibear goes in like some kind of badass. If I'd been there, he would have died for sure. So, to prove the point, I just go in there and secure the kill. Yeah, so secured. And then Akali doesn't run on a very good path and dies to the tower. Report Annie for Rage Quit, please. Wait, they had an Annie? Wow, I kind of forgot about that useless Annie. So I just kind of ignore all the minions and focus on the Nexus, and it's GG. So that's Jungle Evelyn. She's pretty legit. Clears it fast, does pretty good ganks. Just watch your entrances. Don't get counter-jungled. Shine her out.